don't know. I don't, I don't know why you tip over. You tip up. You you do. Yes, you do. Yes. Hi, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Hack Week number eleven. This week I found this Wally robot at a yard sale. Yeah, that's right. I rescued him. Uh, got him for a dollar, and I turned him into an autonomous robot. He was a little toy that was kind of dumb, and uh, well, yeah, you were. You didn't have any brains in you, and I gave you brains, so. I'm your god. Anyway, uh, follow along now and we'll turn Wally into a cool little autonomous robot. Yeah, that's right. You. Well, there's the Wally bot modified a little bit with uh, ping sensor drivers stuck in the eyeballs where there used to be some LEDs lighting this up. There now has. There now has. Okay, the Wally bot is all modified. It started out as just a simple toy that really just made some funny sounds and uh, didn't do much else than that. Its arms waved around. I found this at a yard sale. Its arms were gone. They got amputated in the war, I guess. I don't know. Poor guy. Anyway, we're rebuilding him uh, faster and stronger, and I've put some motors with gear reduction boxes on them um, for drive wheels. So we've got that covered, and he's got his little half tracks now that are should work quite well. These came out of uh, Rumble Robots. They were the part of, that moved the arms on the Rumble Robot. Uh, the back of Wally has a really nifty little four and a half volt battery pack. Straps on his back. There used to be some LEDs mounted in where the eyeballs are, and I put the drivers for the ping sensor in there, broke them out of the board and ran them, the wires ran down through here from the LEDs. I used those wires and just uh, rerouted them to the ping board, which is now down inside there, and mounted up. So now I need to get the H-bridge that I built crammed all in there. This is a dual H-bridge to drive both of the motors forwards and backwards. And the whole thing will be driven by a good old Arduino. So, now we get to cram these parts into here next. Okay, here's my 4.5 volt power supply. I've got the uh, wires hooked up to the motors and let's give it a test drive. Whoops, flips over because there's no weight on top. Crawls over things pretty well. Let's try just some random obstacles and see what we get. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Okay, well the H-Bridge, uh, rest in peace, it fried for some reason. I did some troubleshooting on it this morning and um, replaced a few components. Couldn't figure out what was up with it. so. Rather than take all the time to rebuild the thing and troubleshoot it again, I decided to go the old hacker route, go to the store, the good old dollar store. For five bucks, I get this little toy that's radio controlled, goes forward and reverse, which means there's an H bridge in there. So, got one torn apart already, bought two of them since I have two motors. Look at this, for five bucks I get a motor with a gear reduction box, I get a little on-off switch, um, a battery holder, and there you go, an H-bridge and a receiver in there too, because there's a little remote control. So I've got this little remote control, a receiver, an H-bridge, motor, gearbox, switch, five dollars, five bucks. The dollar store is the place for hackers. Well, I decided I didn't need the whole board. All I want is the H-bridge side, so I cut it in half. This is the side that had the transmitter. We don't need that. Okay, the crazy hacked and modified H-bridge um, connected in place with its own power supply. That was a whole other story. So let's get this thing together and get a damn video. <laughs> Wally. Wally's all done. Finally, he's got adjustable eyeballs. I can point it down or up depending on where he's cruising around. They kind of flop around a little bit. I don't think that'll make much difference. And uh, he has a battery in the front for the Arduino and he has a battery buried in the back 
to drive the motors. Must have separate power supplies. Let's go take a drive. Well, while he's exploring the garage. Oh, he tipped right over. He's a funny little robot. He's a little bit top heavy. I mean, he was designed to be a cartoon character and not a real world robot by any means. Uh, even if he was meant to haul trash down in this little area where his our, um, motor resides for his Arduino, by the way. That's what runs his brain. Um, I don't know. He's a little weird. He tends to tip over backwards pretty easily and forward pretty easily because these tracks aren't quite long enough. But he's pretty fun. He was a, a stupid little toy at a yard sale that I got for a dollar. And now he's a little autonomous roving robot. Obstacles. <laughs> He's just going to cruise on by. Well, let's give Wally a run out here in the dirt. See what he does. He tips over. Highly unstable robot. It doesn't do too bad as long as the ground stays level, but yeah, we just tip the breeze. And tip over. Poor Wally. Oh, Wally, you tip over pretty easily. It's all right, buddy. You know, you just it's part of who you are. Wally does tip over kind of easy, but, you know, it's okay. He's a cool robot. And um, I've got another robot build coming up next week that's uh, a four-wheeled robot. Hey, it's okay. Don't get jealous. You know, there's other robots in my life besides just you. He's silly like that. Anyway, tune in next week when I uh, build one for the Maker Fair. And it's a four-wheeled robot with uh, rocker bogey suspension and uh, lots of cool stuff. And I need to rebuild that thing this week and get pretty busy with it. But Wally's pretty cool. I think I'll keep him around. He's kind of fun to play with. And um, we're going to go play some more right now, see how many times we can tip over. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, let's go play. Keep on hacking.